Now we're gonna eat a mammoth. Holy crap! Are you mad? Eight hours in an Afghan cauldron. We can basically make aspic out of the entire head. We'll make something similar to a stew. And here's the Afghan cauldron. Be careful. Don't slip. Literally Indiana Jones. Remember like in Indiana Jones when they opened the Ark and all that stuff came out and... You, you know? Just like that. Nah, not everything's on camera, but I'm filming most of it. Alright, ready to open it. Let's do it. Holy shit. Ah, uh, it's a little bigger than I anticipated. Whoa! Yeah, we, no one imagined it that big. Holy shit! Jeez, I'm kind of speechless right now. Eight hours in an Afghan cauldron. Man, yeah, we'll have a soup. <laughs> we can basically make aspic out of the entire head. Fuck me sideways. It's huge. I somehow suspect this isn't even the biggest one. Oh no, this is the big mammoth at all. This is a very small one. The skull of an adult elephant reaches me about here. From the ground, it stands about here. On its jaw, it just looks bigger than it is. At least it doesn't stink. <laughs> That's a good start, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, we've got to cook this thing. Can you imagine how much aspect we're going to get? Well, there it is, our meat. Just looking at it makes me feel sick. <laughs> okay, so well, yeah, let's put it down here. No, 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 no. no. Let, let, need to lift its ass up. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, it's just like that. Yep, yeah, there we go. Shit. Ha, I won, sucker. It's exactly why you went extinct. Here you are. So, dear friends, now we're going to chow a mammoth. So, we brought the mammoth to the grill area and decided to separate the meat from the bone and wash it thoroughly. Then we'll probably chuck it in the Afghan cauldron and make a sort of uh, stew. The Afghan cauldron? Yeah. It's like a pressure cooker and it will soften up the meat quicker than any other method. Uh, but, but is that like um, doable? Is it normal? It's the first time they meet in one sentence, that's for sure. Huh, a Russian mammoth and an Afghan cauldron. Yeah, this one's one of ours. <laughs> uh, well, but it, it migrated to Norway at one point, didn't it? Actually, he migrated from there because of unbearable living conditions. We're friends with Afghanistan, aren't we? They visited recently, haven't they? So yeah, they are. So yeah, let's use the Afghan cauldron. It's almost like a pressure cooker. Well, I suggest everybody knuckle down and, you know, start separating the pieces of meat. What, you're going to be using your hands? No, nah, not so easy. Whoa! Laid around with some meat on its bones. Jeez, my brain is like, you know, be sick, be sick, be sick. Yeah, it's, uh... Well, I can't smell anything nasty, I mean, it smells alright to me. I'll start separating from the jaw. I was recently cooking beef chicks, so for me, the jawline is, you know, the thing. Fossilized ants. It's all dry. There, check about the eyebrow. That's where the softest, most tender meat is. After so many years of freezing and defrosting, this meat's completely dehydrated. It literally cannot be rotten at this point. Literally pure protein. Well, with some soil, of course. Texture feels like artisan paper. How old is our mammoth? 600k. <laughs> at least. 600k? 
They appeared 1.6 million years ago, and then about 10,000 years ago they kicked the bucket. We wiped them all out in Siberia, so they you know, wouldn't trample our lands. <laughs> but I like the number 600k. Emilian Pugachev said that he actually saw them in real life. What do you think about that? Uh, who knows? I mean, I know that about a hundred years ago the local citizens would feed mammoth meat to their dogs, because they were actually quite common to be found frozen out in the wild. If we take our old friend Yermak's character into account, um, and if we assume that he maybe one day came across a frozen woolly mammoth, he could have just simply gotten a fright and then assumed that he saw a live mammoth. So it just could be that. I'm just curious. I mean, you would imagine that back then, at, at least once in their life, living up there, they would see like this obviously a frozen mammoth. Just imagine what, ima imagine having that worldview back then and seeing this thing. Well, the locals would also talk about it. Well, let's begin with, um, there's a phrase, you know, that sounds something like, you know, the places where no man has ever ventured, and there are no places like that left on earth. Because for thousands and thousands of years, people would walk back to front, left, to right, all over the place. And so, all this knowledge that has been gained, we pass down generations, and then people would think, or thought, or I don't know if they still think it, um, that they are living side by side with these huge woolly creatures. You know, as the saying goes, the furry to the tiger. So yeah, it makes sense that, you know, any newcomers, they'd be telling them about it, that we've got all sorts of creatures here. What's this? This little stuff here. What is that? Looks like some sort of maggots. This looks absolutely disgusting. Jeez, fuck me. Especially these maggot things. I mean, look at this. They're larger than the jaw. Come, come, come. Take a closer look. Look at this. I mean, those are maggots, right? Wow, look at this jaw. There's just so many of them. That's just tooth filling. You know nothing, man. But his teeth are actually messed up. I mean, just look at that. Boys, I'm telling you, it's veneers. You don't understand. Is this enough meat, then? Yeah, because we're planning to stuff our faces full, aren't we? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't think so. Nah, brother, listen, everything that comes out on my channel tastes good. Feels like on psychedelics. No, but seriously, look, I think that's enough, don't you think so? But how are you going to cook it? I mean, don't you think it will just plain dissolve? No, you just don't get it. This isn't just dehydrated meat. This is uh, this is dehydrated meat with some shit in it. I mean, of course we're going to wash it now, and I mean, you know, but, but I mean, what, what the hell is even this? This isn't meat, this isn't fungus or mushroom or something. But at least it smells all right. If it wasn't this dry, what level of marble do you reckon it would be? Look, if you actually found like a frozen mammoth with his meat still intact, you know, like it would be if he was still alive, I'm telling you now, I wouldn't be against trying it. I mean, I'm gonna have to try this as well, obviously, but yes, this, this, the, the nasty thing is, is that there might be something living inside it. Lads, let's just start with the process already, you know what I mean? Yeah, fine, now let me wash it then. And here's your Afghan cauldron. All right, I'm soaking the meat. Now imagine this. So I go back home, right? There's about 40,000 people living there, right? And, you know, they're innocent. You know, they, they really haven't seen much around in this world. And so imagine, I'm sitting there, right, with the guys, you know, having a beer or whatever. And I'm telling them, you know what? I devoured mammoth meat. They didn't eat, devoured it. Yeah, every Friday, huh? Yeah, why not? In Moscow, you know, yeah, it's sold on every corner. Exactly, who hasn't eaten mammoth, right? That being said, you guys know how to have fun. What's the name of this country? Russia! Have you heard a couple of weeks back, about a month, a diver in the Volga River uh, near Saratov found a mammoth? No, man, a bison's head, you know. So he pulls it out, right, and he's like, whoa, son of a bitch, this is like, you know, it's like a thousand years old. So the people are like, well, let's get into the museum. And he's like, ah, no, screw you guys, I'll put it on my bloody boat and ride around with it. And guess what? He did it.
All right, so I'll wash the meat. Brother, I would soak it in boiling water. Dude, don't worry, the Afghan cordon will do the trick. Mm -hmm, we'll do the trick with the soil as well, huh? No, man, I wash it thoroughly enough. In boiling water? Look, I cleanse it as but as well as you can wash a 600,000 year old mammoth, all right? Started reeking? Well, uh, earthy smell. I can't say it smells off. Actually, you know what? There's actually a lot of soil here. You know, let me wash it again, huh? We think that's actually going to help at all. Look, I did all I could. I can't do better than this. This is all I could do, really. We're going to add salt, right? Of course, without salt, anything is edible. <laughs> Let's add a good amount of salt, bit of pepper, bay leaves, and don't be stingy with it. Yeah, so then we can taste it and go, mmm, nice. I think that goes very well with mammoth, actually. An expert in mammoth meat, huh? What's usually prepared in an Afghan cauldron? Ah, uh, bullions, different type of stews, you know, just chuck it all in, add some water, and in about 40 minutes, the chicken literally dissolves. One of the cases that I read about consuming a mammoth on the internet, you know, it describes how a Norwegian traveler actually found a frozen mammoth. Then he, as far as I remember, cut off a little piece and made a soup out of it. But it then completely, the meat completely dissolved and he said it didn't taste like anything. But I don't think he had too many ingredients and spices to go along with it. Did he try it because he was starving? Nah, out of plain scientific curiosity. So much does a mammoth cost anyway? It's impossible to buy a mammoth. Oh, come on, I mean, you say you found it online. Impossible. Oh, just pretend that somebody found a mammoth, dug it up in their backyard. Uh-huh, and immediately put it up online for sale, huh? Well, I, I don't know, it won't be anything less than a mill, although it's not allowed. All right, the lid, where's the lid, the lid, the lid, oh, yeah, there's the lid. We found the one being sold online. And what does it go for? 350k. Why am I doing this? Ask them for the meat. Tell them we want to cook it. Hello? Hello. Good evening. I just wanted to find out, is the mammoth still for sale? Oh yeah, should I give him the phone? Uh, what? How are we supposed to sell a mammoth? They went extinct quite a long time ago. I don't know, I mean, we just found the ad online. A skull. Yeah, a skull is not a mammoth. Yeah, well, skull and tusks. Is there any meat left on it? Huh, you're gonna have to dig around for that. And how old's it? Why don't you leave all your questions online, hmm? Send us a message on our website and, you know, we'll think about your questions. How's that? All right then, no worries. Thank you so much. Why do I get the feeling that it's not the first time he's gotten a similar call, huh? Yeah, just two random guys put it out there and now, yo, not a joke they went their own separate ways. Maybe he literally put it up there so people would just call him. Yeah, I can imagine. He just rolls one, sparks one up in the evening and just sits there by the phone waiting for these calls. All right, bud. So while you were away, we added some spices and that kind of stuff to the pot. Some bay leaves, carrots, and a whole lot of garlic. So good. Done. We're gonna put it on the fire now. And then we wait. Take it easy there. You just now you'll start smelling like a mammoth. That's a cooking mummy. No, literally, that's basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat a mummy now. What about a mummy? Can you buy a mummy online? But you know what to do. Check online. Yeah, you guess we'll call in too. Huh, I actually found one. 
So you can actually buy a mummy online. It's cannibalism though. However, ancient Egyptians also mummified cats and horses, so why the hell not? Two hours later. I think it's done. Yeah. Whoa, 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 slow down. Let, 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 let's just check it first, okay? All right, because I mean, think about it. We just heat it up and maybe there's some all sorts of viruses gonna come out, you know? Ancient ones. Why do you think mammoths are extinct? Smells like bullion. Doesn't actually smell too bad, eh? No, it smells fine to me. There's some more carrots, onions. Kate, come here a second. Come on, don't be scared. Come here, darling. Come here. Take a look at this. Have a whiff. So what do you think, huh? Smells good, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, well, those are my spices, actually, that you're smelling there. Mammoth soup. What the fuck? Son of a... Well, actually, the sauce separated quite nicely down there, didn't it? Okay, great. So, where's the meat, eh? Sheesh. Kirill, buddy. <laughs> Listen, I, I think we succeeded. I think it worked. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Carrots, onions, everything. It's right. I genuinely think we succeeded there. You just check how much water this thing absorbed. You know, I mean, the meat. Listen, I'm actually real happy that it came out like this. I'm quite chaffed. Fell apart. Go on, Kirill. <laughs> There's your share. <laughs> your piece. <laughs> That's not a good-looking piece. Can you at least add some salt? <laughs> no, I gotta try it like this first. I'm willing to try the carrots. Oh, God. There's no way in hell I'm trying that soup. Why does it look fatty, huh? No, listen, there's definitely taste. That's what I'm asking, I'm tasting fat. Yeah, there is taste. Listen, I'm telling you straight, the bear pour was a hundred times worse. How disgusting! And? <laughs> no, well, it, it tastes like it looks. <laughs> and it looks like shit, <laughs> if I'm honest. Maybe there's a tastier piece hiding somewhere there. You know what? I trust Andre's taste buds, 100%. <laughs> Look, if it's a life or death, you'll eat it. Yeah, but let's make it clear, life or death situation, not just a plain hungry situation. But what's wrong? This is bitter or something? Try it! Nah, I really want to try, but I'm scared. Oh, it's definitely meat, just really disgusting meat. Yeah, but what, what do you mean by exactly by disgusting meat? Like on a scale of the worst things you've tasted, where will it be? Oh, look, look, it's definitely up there. I mean, the worst thing about it is the texture. It's all stringy and disgusting, you know? It's, I, I don't know how to describe it. You just, you, you, you just gotta try it. Never tasted anything like it. There's a meat taste hidden somewhere there, but honestly, it's a special kind of nasty, really. Should I bring out the spirits? Just in case. It's like cartilage. Well, yeah. Well, then maybe we should just try to find another piece, huh, guys? And the taste is not like meaty, it's like bloody. It's weird. Did you also get that, the taste of blood? Hmm, yeah, I did. Like iron, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's it, like iron. Yeah, like, 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 tasted like iron. That's the taste I had in my mouth. Like an iron coffin, probably. Did you swallow it? 
I can't say there's some nasty shit. It's bloody awful. What are you talking about? It tastes like pig ears. Yeah, that's it. Exactly like pig ears. That's exactly what it reminds me of. I've had a recent experience, I remember. But what about the iron taste, you know? It's all this iron. It's almost as if, look, the texture is like a sponge, and then it's like as if you cut its vein open and like dunked it in it, you know? It's the blood. And you can taste this blood, and it's like it's right there in the forefront. I just want to remember the taste. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know? Yeah, now we can safely say that we have tried mammoth meat. Yeah. It's just like sand on my teeth, huh? I feel the strength of a mammoth coursing through me, huh? You know, I can feel my tusks coming through. Yeah, you know, and the trunk. Honestly? Actually, this was epic. I mean, think about it. how many people on this planet today can brag about not only just eating mammoth meat, but having a stew or a you know, bouillon or soup, whatever this is. How many? There are very few. But actually, no confirmed cases. We're the only ones with a video. Yeah, the only ones. So I can only confirm that three or four people here right now have actually tried mammoth soup. How much do you reckon? Mammoth soup, right? How many millions do you reckon this would cost in a restaurant? I think we just put up an ad online, huh? Hmm? Or just ask your subscribers. Maybe somebody will want to buy it off us. Maybe somebody will want to try it for the hell of it. You never know. I mean, we could just make an auction and, you know, donate the money to sick children or some other charity. I'm sure. I'm 100% sure. In fact, that right now we'll find a person who will pay 100k for this to try mammoth soup and he will actually eat it what do you think of that idea gents honestly if i saw this for sale online i would actually buy it and eat it or you know treat my friends to it i don't know something like that because this is the real deal i mean here's the head here we are and here's the food so it's not a trick you know, I really hope to live long enough to see the time when, you know, mammoths are cloned. You know, from the blood and their de leftover DNA. Oh yeah? And then they'll splice us so the bloody thing can talk, and then you'll have like a home pet mammoth like running around, right? Yeah, and every time he shits on the carpet, you just show him this video so he knows exactly what will happen to him if he doesn't behave. Alright, so if we get 10 million likes, we'll make a bloody aspic out of this. How's that sound? Huh, Alright, so we get 3 likes and we're making aspic, right? No, 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 not three. Ten million, and then we make aspic. That's the deal. <laughs> the reason the number is so high is that we never actually have to do it. <laughs> well, but listen, if we get that many likes, then what the hell? We'll make the aspic. Dear friends, comment down below what else we should try. You know, what else we should try cook. Doesn't matter whether it's extinct or a currently existing animal. Just let's see what we can do with this. Thank you. Even the extinct ones, we'll find them. <laughs> Except bats. Yeah, we, we don't try bats. Yeah, that's a Chinese thing, not ours. Yeah. And please like the video, because it's possible this will be our last video. <laughs> nah, but listen, I'm serious. If we get 10 million likes, we'll make something else. We'll make something, you know, better tasting than this, that's for sure. <laughs>